Hey, what is going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I'm hanging out in one of our hawkers. This thing is still going through that B check. It is getting torn up. It's actually getting put back together, but it's already been torn up. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the interior that had to come apart. It's a little bit dark in here, so I got a couple lights going to try and light it up a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what's going on on the other side. But you can see this side, the, uh, the headliners all pulled out over here. We've got some windows covered up because some windows had to get replaced. So they still got the, uh, the covering, the paper film on it to, to cover everything and protect it. So I'm going to show you guys a few things on the inside of this airplane. Again, I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm going to do my best to get you guys as much visual as I can here. So let me get you turned around, show you what we got going on. All right. So over here, we've got the right side of the airplane. This is where usually we have a couch or, or divan, as we call it in the corporate aviation world. It's usually a divan that sits right here. And you can see there's an armrest back there in the back where the back of the divan usually sits. And underneath here, We've got all these cables that are showing right now. We've got some ducting down here. These are actually the control cables, I believe, for the aileron and for the rudders going to the back and the elevator. I think they're all in here. Actually, some of them may be under this side. So don't quote me on which ones are on the right side, which ones are on the left side. I believe that these are going to be the elevator and the... Uh, I think that one's going to be with the green pulley. I think that's going to be your aileron for the right wing over there. And I think these other ones are going to be the elevator and the rudder. But again, don't quote me on which ones are which. I'd have to pull apart the other side over here to see what's what to, to get you those exact ones. But the uh, the big duct right here, this is actually the uh, the heating and cooling duct. It's mostly the heating because it's down on the floor. That's where the hot air is going to come into the cabin. That's also going to be how we get the airplane pressurized. The air coming in from there is going to help us to pressurize the airplane. This is where it's coming from back here in the back. That brown duct that's going to be where the air is coming in and we've got one removed that actually connects right there and goes forward. So kind of cool. Get to see the interior guts of this thing. And then again, over here, you can see we've got a couple windows that had to get replaced and you can see what holds them in is actually two bolts there, 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 and there. And then sealant goes all the way around and that's what's holding the windows in place. And they're, they're plug style, so they're, they're being forced outward, so the pressure of the airplane is pushing it into place once you pressurize. So if you were negative pressure, it would be pushing inward, and then that would be a problem. So uh, we don't negative pressurize airplanes for many reasons, but that being one of them. And you can see over here, this is actually what the window shade looks like uncovered. Big square thing right there. And uh, you guys have seen what it looks like when it's uncovered. It looks like just an oval shape. Actually, here they are on the other side. Just the oval shape section is all you typically see. So, yeah, this is the headliner that goes on the other side. They just kind of like rolled it across the airplane to get it out of the way. So, yeah. You can see lots of that green anti-corrosion primer on lots of stuff. That way we don't get corrosion on anything. Corrosion in airplanes is very bad. So, and actually here you can see, this is one of the shades that goes here. Here's the other one, it goes over here. They're pulled out right now. Got some lighting plugs dangling down over here. We got all kinds of stuff moving around. So this is what airplanes look like when they go through maintenance. And I'm actually gonna walk you guys forward here and show you a little bit more on the front of the airplane because the seats are actually removed from this thing right now. There's actually some, some paneling that's been removed over here. Lots of wires exposed. Tons of wires. A couple of computers. And the forward bulkhead over here. But then as we go forward, no step. You can see we've got lots of electronics down underneath here. And those are typically where the seats are gonna sit. They have been removed. All the carpeting's been pulled out as you can see. So yeah, this is, what, uh, this is what happens when airplanes go through maintenance events. They get torn apart. All these coverings, panels get removed. Everything gets opened up so we can check for a lot of things. Corrosion being one of them. They have to check uh, solenoids. They got to check servos. All types of stuff have to get tested during these major, major maintenance events like this. So, uh, so yeah, they're actually in the process of getting everything put back together right now. Hopefully another week or two, this thing will be back in the air. Show you guys the finished product. It's going to be really nice. They found a couple of items that had to get replaced, several items that had to get replaced. These things get really expensive when they start finding things that, uh, you know, have a little bit of corrosion on them. They may still work just fine, but a little bit of corrosion is, is a bad thing on airplanes, so they have to replace it. 
So anyway, that's, uh, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about the, uh, the inside of these airplanes when they get torn apart. Uh, keep liking these videos. Uh, keep showing up for these Tech Tuesdays. Hopefully you enjoy it. We'll see you on the next one. Keep living the corporate pilot life. See ya.